Oktoberfest is underway in Appleton. Yeah, for the last three hours, license to cruise basically shut down College Avenue for the evening for up to 400 classic cars and thousands of spectators. This year's featured cars are the no longer made Oldsmobiles. Tonight and tomorrow, as thousands of people take in Oktoberfest in Appleton, they may or may not notice an increase in police security. Fox 11's Chad Doran has more. Classic cars, delicious food, and closed roads in downtown Appleton are just some of the signs that point to the start of what organizers say is the fourth largest Oktoberfest event in the country. We ask our fans every year, what do you want to see, you know, for music and entertainment? And, and that's what draws the people down and then, of course, the eating experience while they're here. Vanden Heuvel says she expects more than 100,000 people to pack College Avenue throughout the day on Saturday, taking in the sights and sounds. It's a very unique experience compared to other festivals. The food and just seeing people that turn out and, you know, just kind of the event yeah. is fun. And to ensure those festival goers are safe, the Appleton Police Department has what it calls a well-rehearsed security plan in place. Although we have certainly more officers than normal, it, uh, it's just based on making it a safe environment for everybody that comes down. Sergeant Dave Lund wouldn't say how many officers will be involved this weekend, but he says officers will be clearly visible to ensure the safety of all participants. Something Vanden Heuvel says she hopes visitors will respect. You know, we're well prepared to handle those, but we're hoping that, you know, this is a community-based event. It's a gift back to the community, and we want everybody to go into it with that frame of mind. Enjoying a good time with a few thousand friends. In Appleton, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. Oktoberfest, which is in September because organizers say the weather is usually nicer, resumes at 9 tomorrow morning.